Hey guys, Don and Steve here from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. We're going to take a few minutes today to talk a little bit about what steps a person can take to help themselves be a little more prepared should, uh, God forbid, you found yourself in a situation similar to what Paris has recently found themselves in and or, of course, we have a lot of threats here in the U.S. as well. Sure. And so, be it through the internet or folks walking in, they've asked us to make a video, so this is going to be our take on what a person can do. By no means are we claiming to be experts. By no means are we saying this is the absolute correct way to do this. We're simply saying, here's a couple of ideas. Maybe you guys can add some uh, ideas down in the messages down below and help us improve our uh, what we're doing as well here at the shop. Absolutely. And so we can then pass it on along to, to other folks. A few of the things that we carry on our person every day, common sense stuff to us, maybe not to everyone, but I carry a tactical flashlight with me everywhere I go. Yeah, I keep one on me. They're fantastic. You never know when you might need it. You break down on the highway. There's a, a number of situations. Even for self-defense, a lot of people don't think it is a good thing to carry. However, you can stun someone just like that. Shine them in uh, their eyes. Absolutely. Uh, I'll see spots for about an hour and a half, and it's daylight. Uh, so good tactical flashlights, good to have. They're not expensive. A knife. I know you always keep one with you. I always, always keep one on always me. Always have a knife on me. Whatever you're carrying, try to carry it in the same spot so you build the proper muscle memory to kind of go to it without having to think about it. That's a big thing. Just like carrying your firearm every day, it goes in the same spot all the time. You know where it is. You become accustomed to that. Um, speaking of firearms, I carry two. Um, a lot of people don't. I like to have a secondary firearm in me just in case. So, you know, something that I've gotten in the habit of, for a long time, I, I always carried uh, two firearms. I never carried a spare mag. Recently, uh, again, primarily just because of, of some of the newer threats that we're seeing here in the U.S., I've started carrying a spare mag. So I keep a spare mag on my side, keep my firearm, strong carry, of course. And then another thing I personally do that we often just don't think about, rubber-soled shoes. Something simple. It allows you to have more traction if you need to run away from a threat, if you need to run towards a threat, mm -hmm. if you need the friction, if you're in a physical conf confrontation with somebody so that you have the ability to have that, that friction between you and the ground that gives you the leverage you need. Uh, so a rubber sole shoe would be nice to have on. That's a good point. I always keep my car keys, and I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I keep my car keys handy with the key fob hanging out so that I can kind of quickly get into my vehicle. Now I know something that both of us Kind of, we don't carry on us, but we keep close by in our vehicles is our first aid kit. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you think? As well, as. my first aid kit personally is a very basic first aid kit. I don't keep band-aids. I don't keep burn creams and that stuff. Mine is designed for trauma. If I come across an accident or someone's badly injured and they're bleeding out, EMS is on the way. God forbid I happen to be around a, an active shooter scenario where something happens and I need to stop a, a bleeding immediately. Um, so mine consists of a pair of gloves, a tourniquet, um, some a type of a clotting agent, uh, and that's really about all I need in there. Yeah, so I personally keep uh, a couple of first aid kits in my vehicle, and I also keep uh, a larger first aid kit that has stuff that I don't personally always know how to use 100% of and or I'm not licensed to use. But having said that, I will tell you, uh, I was on the interstate one time, came up on an accident, and a person's life was saved because there was a person there that was a certified uh, a registered nurse and I had some of the equipment with me that she did not have and uh, she was able to use my equipment and she was able to save a life so kudos to her for doing that. Yeah, very cool. But, but you don't know, I mean, even though you may not be certified to use some of what you have with you in the way of first aid gear, there may be somebody close by or around that's there, they may not have their gear, but they may be able to put your gear to use and, and help save a life. Yeah, that's a good point. So these are just a few suggestions here and there. By all means, comment down below. Let us know. There's probably a slew of stuff that we're not thinking of and that we've missed, but we at least wanted to just kind of throw a few things out there, especially in light of some of the more recent threats, things that you might just start thinking about, things that you keep on you. Just common sense stuff. Common sense stuff. More than anything, obviously, uh, understand how to get to cover, if at all possible. Know your exits. Know your exits, your whereabouts, your, your environment. Kind of keep an eye out for what's going on and try to be a good witness. Because I know that's probably the first uh, thing that we're all going to be asked. You know, God forbid something, we're in a situation like that. Uh, and if we're fortunate enough to be one of the lucky ones that make it through it alive, the one of the first things that law enforcement's going to ask us is, hey, 
what did you see? How many were there? What, what's the description of whoever was involved? Was right. there a vehicle? What were they driving? How tall were they? Try to reference things next to something around you as far as height goes. Just try to be a good witness. So hopefully this kind of helps out. Uh, please, like I said, post down below. As always, we thank you for watching. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Take care. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, Jennifer here. Just wanted to let you know how much we appreciate your feedback. We're always looking for new video ideas and we'd like to know what you want to see next. Leave a comment below and let us know what guns you'd like to see reviewed or anything else that you'd like to see more of. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and see what else we're up to. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.